So the question of the day is, what would you do if you find out that the kids you have in your 20 year marriage are not yours? I'ma still be with my wife. I beg your pardon? I'ma still be with my wife. <laughs> and accept the kid. Is she gonna be with her? Yeah. And why would you be with her? Because people make mistakes. They never show you say Mumu. You gonna be with someone that lied to you for 20 years? No. She made she might not have known. Come on now, dog. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah, she just probably made a mistake. Come on, man. Babe, I'm still gonna love the kids. Nice. But definitely gonna have something to do with the wife. You see what's going on with that, you know? Okay. But I definitely have to leave her. I mean, 20 years, you can be honest with me. I'm a I'm a uh I'm gonna stick around for the kids. I don't know about for her. What's going on, guys? You already know. It's still your boy, M to the A to the C to the K A Y vibes. Today's question is strictly for men. What would you do if you find out that the kids you have in your 20 year marriage are not yours? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna divorce your wife? Are you gonna divorce your wife and send your kids out the house? Or are you gonna still take care of the kids and send the wife out? Or are you gonna forgive your wife? Keep the kids and just act like nothing happened. Make sure you leave your comments in the comment section so we can have an interactive session. Be sure to share this video so other men can see it and comment too. Thank you and enjoy the video. What's your name, sir? Phil. Phil, okay. What would you do if you find out that the kids you have in your 20 year marriage are not yours? What are you gonna do in that situation? I'm still gonna love the kids, but definitely gonna have something to do with the wife. You see what's going on with that, you know? Okay. But I definitely have to leave her. I mean, 20 years, you can be honest with me. Right. You know, you, truth gotta come out at some point. Like, and definitely on DNA tests, I mean, I would definitely would like to do that too. So I would like to find it before. Before it gets you know to I mean? that point, right? Exactly. But why would you wanna do a DNA test? Wouldn't you wanna trust your wife and, uh, Everybody's human first and, uh, you know, business the first, you know, trust second. So I'm going to get that DNA test. First. Even even if I love her, you know, it's all good. We all human, though. We all make mistakes. So right. and I'm putting all this money into these kids, all investing the kids, into these right. kids. I want to make sure they my kids. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your name, sir? Sean. Okay. So the question of the day is, let's say you find out that the kids you have in your 20 year marriage and yours what are you gonna do so let's say you married to your wife for 20 years and then your kids are you i'm gonna still be with my wife except the kid is she gonna be with her yeah 70 years old man you be mumu you think say they wise you are a mumu man you be mumu they call other people mumu they never show you say be mumu and why would you be with her because people make mistakes so you gonna be with someone that lied to you for 20 years? No. What? She made she might not have known, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah, she just probably made a mistake. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or she probably was scared to say something. So you still gonna be with her? Yeah. So you don't if think that's your wife, that's you know what I'm saying, that's totally different. What? But that's not those that's, that's not your kids though. She lied. I mean, I'm saying she she knew about it, but she didn't tell you until after 20 years. I mean, that's why they got counseling for. So you go stay with her for real, or you just yeah. you just play? Nah. <laughs> it depends on the wife. It depends on the female. You feel me? Damn. That's like a on, dangerous female to me now. Nah. It depends on the circumstances. Certain some circumstances is is different. Like she might she might. Know the know the the husband or the baby father, right. but he not shit. She know he not gonna take care of the child oh. like you would. It's different circumstances. Right. You, you, know? you have a, so you saying you gonna be with her still? And all yeah. If she you know she apologized to me right. and she like I might have other kids out there in the world too. So she might have to you know. <laughs> right, right, right. You <laughs> right. Okay, I was surprised at your answer though, but. So you yeah, find out, uh, yeah, that, uh, that was a different answer yeah. from what I've got so far, you know. Okay, but thank you, though. <laughs> What's your name? Robert. 
Robert. Okay. So the question of the day is, let's say you're in a relationship, right? You're married. And then after 20 years, you find out that your kids are not yours. What would you do? I'd be upset, but I'd still raise them like they're mine. And why, why would you still raise them if they're not yours? Because I got attached to them kids. You got, you got what? I got attached to the kids, so... Oh, so what are you going to do to your wife? Huh? What are you going to do to your wife? Like, I, I might sit down and talk to her. I know that's not my kids, but... So you're not going to divorce her or nothing like that? Nah. But she lied to you for 20 years. You know, sometimes you got to forget and, like, and forgive. Oh, for real? Yeah. I'm not that type of person, like, just, like, based off, like, I don't know. So you're not just, just going to divorce her, leave her, leave her alone, or send her, send her out of your house? Like, like if she, like, cheated behind my back or... Yeah, she probably cheated behind your back. Okay, I'll probably break up with her, but, like... Because those are not your kids. They're for someone else. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably break up, break up with her, but I'm just saying, like, I'm still, like, have a relationship with the kids if it's not mine. Yeah, if it's not yours, because you raised them for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And so... This is, so this question is, let's say you're married to someone, right? Yeah. And after 20 years of marriage, you find out that your kids are not yours. Are not mine, okay. What are you going to do? I'm going to leave her. Okay, I'm going to divorce. Why would you divorce her? If the kids aren't mine, that means she cheated on me. So you know what I'm saying? you're just going to leave like that? Shit, now you're making me feel kind of bad. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, well, what are you going to do, though? I'm going a, I'm to... A, uh, I'm gonna stick around for the kids. I don't know about for her. But the kids are not yours. I've been in their life 20 years though, right? And so, what are you gonna do with her? I don't know. She's gonna have to figure that out. That's, no, I mean, what are you gonna do though? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you gonna, I'm, y'all, I'm, y'all, I'm y'all stand together. I'm gonna raise, raise the kids. And then you gonna kick her out? Well, well, they already raised, I guess, after 20 years, right? So you gonna kick the, the, the girl, uh, the woman out? Man. Yeah, she gotta go. She lied from the start. So what are you going to do with her? Uh, I'll divorce her. I mean, I'll stick around for the kids if they need me to, but she gone, bro. She, she gone. Like, and how would you feel? Would you feel stupid? I would feel betrayed. You know, like 20 years of my life just gone down the drain. Bro. I would feel really disappointed and just uh, betrayed, honestly. Right. 20 years on kids, that's a lot of money. Right, that's, that's, that's a, a lot. lot of money. That's a lot of money wasted. Okay, so you say you would definitely divorce her. Yeah, man. I would definitely. She got she to gotta go, man. She got to go. My nigga. <laughs> and then you do the same thing too sure. Okay, so I put that list speaking Let's say it happens to you I'm not saying it's going to happen I'm just saying mm-hmm. You would you would take your, you'll keep taking care of the kids But just divorce the, the woman Yeah, yeah Because it wasn't the kids' fault You know, she could have just been honest Right So right. I'm still going to love the kids Take care of the babies But, you know, wifey She's, you know That's probably going to be my ex at that point <laughs> So you're going to throw a 20 year marriage away? Hey man, look, it's a lot of opportunity out here. You don't have to be locked down to one person all your life. Hey, you know what I'm guess. saying? Right. If, if she kept a secret for 20 years, what other secrets she got? She got. She probably got a lot more. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you, sir. And that's just a question of the day. Appreciate it. That's it. So, yeah. So, your final answer, you go on. You're not sure if you're going to leave her alone or not. That's what you're saying. Like, I said, like, be friends with her, but, like, but, like, like you know, like, check up on her and see how the kids are doing and stuff like that. But but I'm not, like, a cold-hearted person who's just, like, like, just, like, dismiss her and stuff like that. You know what okay. I'm saying? So you're kind. Yeah, okay. I am. I appreciate that, though. <laughs> but thank you. And that's just a question of the day. We just wanted to get people's opinion on that question to see gotcha. what they have to say. But thank you. Hey, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate your continual love and support. And I'm always going to keep being grateful. Thank you. And also, make sure you leave suggestions for future videos in the comment section. And I'll be very glad to check them out. Thank you once again for your love and support. And we almost at 10,000 subscribers. So please help me reach that goal before the end of September. Thank you for love and support once again. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.